one minute early, but I'm here. If anybody else is here, would love to see a comment, if you have a comment. I am trying a new app called StreamYard to see if it will make this look nicer on YouTube. Um, let's see what happens with StreamYard. It's got some neat features that I'm going to be testing out, see if I want to actually pay for it to do the live videos as well. Um, I wonder if people may have a difficulty finding me because I'm not using the same link from the YouTube uh, pre-feed that I started. So let's uh, let's see what happens. It's 8.05. Let's uh, get this show on the road. Hello and welcome to the Motley Mix Merchant Channel. I am Brian. Hi, Claire. Good to see you. Um, can you hear me? I'm, I'm guessing you can hear me okay, hopefully. Um, that is the one thing I'm not able to test with my own stuff until it's all set up. So if you can hear me, just let me have a quick thumbs up in the comments. And um, I'm going to start unboxing. It is a box that I got on Monday. I bought it on eBay over the weekend. And then I uh, picked it up on Monday afternoon. I had to go into Toronto to do a shipping run. And the buyer, the seller was in Toronto. So it was only about a 15 minute drive from the shipping company that I use. So I uh, headed into the city, picked it up on the porch. I had already paid through eBay. So there was no physical contact involved and uh, brought it home and left it in the laundry room for the last two days. So I haven't touched it. <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd uh, unbox it live. Now I'm not completely going into this blind because I did see the pictures and it's what I bought based my purchase off of on eBay. So uh, I thought it would be fun though to pull things out. Some of the stuff it only saw, I only saw one angle of one side of the item. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a few things that I know what they are and uh, they're pretty good items and that's why I bought it. So we'll see what happens. So let me see if this works. There we are. You can see comments right on the screen now. So I think that's uh, that's a pretty cool feature for this new uh, stream yard that I'm trying out. And then I can also do that. So, you know, there's all kinds of things you can do with this program. So I'm trying to test it out. And I think it's a pretty good program for doing live feeds. So um, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm not really blase. I'm, I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not laid back. I'm really excited to see what's in here, because I am running out of things to list. I'm getting down there again only about 10 to 15 things that I really could list in the store right now. So having this box to go through is uh, going to be fun. So here, let me, it's right beside me. You can see it right here. It is right beside me. I have not even flipped it open. I just cut the tape before I started the video. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to be making a mess all over the place, but that's okay. All right. First thing first, right on the top. Queen Elizabeth Silver Jubilee Commemorative Plate. It is Lord Nelson Pottery, handcrafted in England. So the Silver Jubilee was 1977. So that's a nice old plate, 1977 for that plate. And, um, you know, I, I'm not going to take many hazard, hazard many guesses as far as value on some of this stuff. Some of the things I know what they're going to be worth, but I don't, uh, don't want to hazard a guess. These are, I mean, there's lots of commemorative plates out there, especially from the Silver Jubilee. So maybe 15, I don't know, 15 to 25. I've got a big table beside me here. I think it's going to be full with things everywhere by the time this is all done. So we shall see. All right, garbage, garbage. All right, newsprint is going to be transferring on to everything. But that's okay. Lots of newspaper. Oh, here we go. I feel like uh, Wade's Ventures. If you followed Wade Ventures at all in the last little while, we got about 700 boxes and all of them were super, super wrapped. So um, that's what I feel like right now. Oh, here's a Blue Mountain Pottery style mug. I do not believe it is actual Blue Mountain Pottery. As a base that big would be marked. There's no mark on it. Although, what does this say? No, McMastercraft. See, I knew it wasn't Blue Mountain. McMastercraft. And it is a Fort McMurray, Alberta souvenir mug. Stein. So uh, that's cute. Again, another, that one's probably 10 to $15 max. It's just uh, um, those kinds of souvenir jugs aren't going for big money these days, but that's okay. But, uh, I'm gonna count this all up when this is over. I think I, I think I have a rough idea how many are gonna be sellable. I'm gonna unwrap over here away from the microphone so I don't uh, destroy the ears. 
watching live or watching it later on. Oh, I know what these are. I saw these. So is it going to be there's a few of these to unwrap? But there's a couple. Oh, there's a third one. These are Pyrex custard cups, still with the original label stuck to the bottom on the inside, made in Corning, New York, from Corning Glassware. Uh, I believe there's six. There should be three more of them coming up. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, cute little pieces. There's six. I'll sell all six together, um, but with the original stickers. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. We'll see. See what those go for. I'll do some research on all of these things before I list them, as I always do. Uh, I think, let me see what this is. Double wrapped. Everything is going to be double wrapped. So it's going to take a set to unwrap everything. We go. Okay. Oh, this. I saw this. In the pictures. Oh boy. It's going to be a long video. <laughs> Every single item takes this long to unwrap. There we go. There we go. This is this is a beaker. This is like a scientific beaker. A thousand milliliters Pyrex. Number five six four one. Good to twenty degrees Celsius. No stopper, but it does have the frosted tip on it. I wonder if that's a real scientific beaker because that doesn't really look like with the, with the markings and that kind of thing does not look like a household use type of item. So I'll have to research that, but that's cool. A thousand milliliter Pyrex scientific beaker. That's cool. Very cool. I saw that. I wondered what that was. I thought it was a wine decanter, but it is. I do not think it is actually. So yeah, very cool. All right. Clary, now it's just you and me. You're the only viewer. <laughs> oh, somebody else just joined. Good to see you up there. Oh, Pyrex started with lab equipment, did they? Okay, so then that probably, absolutely then, what it was, and I will uh, research it and see if there's supposed to be a stopper. Maybe there isn't supposed to be a stopper. Scientific beakers usually don't have their own stoppers, do they? I don't know. This was cute. I remember seeing this in the pictures. So that's very, very cute. Beautiful pink glazed duck. It is from Northern Pottery of Canada. Let that focus. Northern Pottery of Canada. Looks like it's numbered. Numbered and signed, maybe, unless that's just from somebody writing something after. No, that's under glaze, I think. So, yeah, well, that's very cute. Very cute little ceramic pink duck figure. I'm sure somebody will like that. It's very nice. All right, let's see what we got here. I think this is the, yeah, I can feel it. This is just the other three Pyrex custard cups, so I'm just going to put that over here. I'm not going to bother getting them out. So now I have six of these with the Pyrex sign right in the bottom of the cup still. So sell all six together. All right, what do we have here? My fingers are going to be black by the end of this with all this newsprint coming off of it. Ooh, okay. Let's be careful here. This is something on top. Oh, a lid. Okay. Uh, there's the lid, whatever this is. <laughs> ah, there we go. Got to the bottom of the paper. Okay, so this lid goes on here. And there is a nice... I'm, lost at word. I'm, at lo I'm at a loss for words for what exactly to call that. Um, it looks like it's got a woodpecker on the side. Is that that looks like a woodpecker, maybe? Uh, let's see what's on the bottom. Oh, here we go. Tampico ware. Pearl white made in Bohemia. Certificate number registered. Let me show you that. What does that say? Pearl, pearl white. It's got a maker's mark over top of it. So I'll have to research that maker's mark. But that's very cute. And the inside is a little dirty, a little crazy. That's got a crack. Yep, there's the crack. It does go through all the way to the other side. A crack that goes through, but it's still a beautiful piece with a tin handle and top. Nice, nice little bucket. 
brass handled bucket. So yeah, no bubble wrap. It was it was all wrapped in paper. So interesting if he was going to rub, if he was going to do it up in bubble wrap before he mailed it to me. If I wasn't going to be picking it up, I wonder if I was going to get this. It's just newspaper all over, it, and it's all ceramics and glass. So I don't know. I don't know. This is on the skinny. Oh, this Coca Cola bottle, 237 milliliters, eight fluid ounces, I think that says. Okay, which one is this from? This is, I can't see. Can I read it? No refill. Please recycle. I'm sure there's, I'm sure this mark, there's a mark there on the side right by my fingers. That mark probably signifies which plant it's from, but it is a, can't be too old. There's a barcode on it. So uh, we'll see. There's a couple, I think there's a couple of the Coca-Cola ones and there's another one, which may be actually the one that's worth some money when it comes to the glass bottles. So it can't be too old of a bottle with a barcode on the side. But I'll research it, see if I can figure out which one it came from. So we should see. All right. Oh, yeah. All paper. My hands are going to be black by the time this is over. All right, let's see. Here's the other one. Clear one. This one looks a little older. Nice, clear Coca Cola bottle. It's a Canadian one. Coca Cola Company of Canada Limited. Trademark registered. Minimum content six fluid ounces. There's a mark on the bottom again there uh, i have to figure out where that came from that one definitely looks older than the green one but the green ones are popular too so you see this one is the one that actually is probably worth some money there was three bottles on the lot that were standing beside each other and this is the one that may be worth 15 to 20 dollars it is an old squirt bottle remember squirt it was a little more lemony than seven up if i remember uh, but yeah, squirt bottle in pretty good condition. That's a little fade. Actually, it's mostly dirty. So I think if I clean off the dirt off that, it'll be pretty good condition. Squirt in the public eye, the delicious grapefruit flavor. Yeah, I, I knew it was tangier. It was grapefruit. Really quenches thirst. For ingredients, seat cap, bottled under the authority of the Squirt Company of Canada. So that's the Canadian version of the squirt bottle, but that's that's old. I remember squirt when I was a kid. I don't know how old I am. So when I was a kid, that's a while ago. So, all right. There's one layer done. Some paper. What else we got here? Again, if you're just joining us, this is going to take a while. Every piece is double wrapped in paper. So, it's going to take a while. It was my longest video ever. That's okay. Oh, this. Yes, I've never seen the picture for this. Let's see if there, oh, there it is. It's falling off. There's a lid stopper as well. This is gorgeous. This is going to be a money maker, I'm sure. That mid century modern striped multicolored decanter. That is gorgeous. I, I love that. And it's absolutely beautiful with the gold around the neck stopper that is in great shape hand whittled down so it fits and that's absolutely gorgeous mcm piece and so that's i i saw that in the picture and i knew that was going to be nice and that is very very nice very very nice condition do we have a maker's mark on the bottom we do not uh no we do not i don't think so i'll have to look closer on that there's some inscription of some kind on the bottom i don't know if it's just numbers or if there's a maker's mark there but that's a gorgeous piece i like that piece a lot oh boy yeah that's a very nice one i agree claire very nice yes just testing out some of the new features of this stream mirror before i decide whether i'm going to keep it and use it for videos and live streams and that kind of thing seems to be pretty good fe features on this so what do we got here? Oh, this, I didn't, what is this? This is a novelty mug, a novelty beer mug. It is from 
Big Nose Kate's Saloon in Tombstone, Arizona. The town too tough to die, it says. Town too tough to die. So cute. Oh, that's, oh, those are, oh, <laughs> those are naked women all the way around the bottom. <laughs> Dancing girls, probably. So yeah, that's novelty mug, a novelty beer mug. That's what, novelty beer glass. That's what the listing's going to be typing. Anybody wants to read it, look closely at it, we'll see what it is. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, this. Look at this. Here's a, here's a memory maker for you. Anybody's dad have this? My dad did. I think my dad had one of these big tall ones and one of the shorter ones as well. It is Avon. Avon Pony Post Decanter Tribute Aftershave Lotion. I remember the horse distinctly, especially the horse head on the pedestal. Let's see. Let's see if it's still... No, that one's been wiped, washed out or completely washed out. So but that's that's in good shape too. That's the, the brass lid and the brass nose ring are in excellent, excellent shape. And so is the sticker on the bottom. So Avon, yep. Avon calling. What did I did I say Avon? Avon calling, and it is there. So that's uh, that's a cute piece. Again, that's probably ten to fifteen dollars, maybe. So any I don't know if I mentioned it. I paid a grand total of forty dollars Canadian for this box. It's about $30 US in today's economy. It was less than that about three weeks ago, but it's about $30 US right now. So um, I should easily make my money back and plenty more uh, from this lot. And you'll see why with some of the stuff that I was, I'm pretty sure is on the bottom because it's flat that I've never seen in the pictures. Okay. Oh, this, I saw this in the pictures. Lift it up a little bit. It's very, very cool. Souvenir glass for the Man on the Moon mission, July 20th, 1969. Neil Armstrong, Ed Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Turn it around. Apollo 11. I want to get my dirty hands all over this now. Uh, but a nice little tumbler with uh, Man on the Moon, Apollo 11. So that's that's very cool. I remember that. I remember being woken up by my parents so I could watch the men on the moon. That was that was a distinct part of my growing up. Actually, it's one of my earliest memories. Seven years old, my, one of my earliest memories is being woken up to watch the, man, the moon landing. So I think that was interesting that that mug, that glass tumbler is included there. Uh, I saw this in the picture, and you only saw the top and that's it and so i'm gonna have a nice little investigation here with you right now and let's see if there's any markings on this this is a cute little dish um possibly a powder jar that kind of thing a compote like this what does that say though bicentenary celebration it's wedgwood oh etruscan dance it's called wedgwood bicentenary celebration Bone China, made in England, 1995. So it is vintage, 25 years old, um, but it's in great shape. That finishing on the top, that painting, is in great, great shape. There's no scratches hardly at, at all. I can not see any scratches. Even on the bright, bright, bright black on the top, that is in great, great shape, and that should uh, that should really do well. I agree, Claire. I don't know if that my message that comment is about the Apollo cup or this, but that is a beautiful piece and that should sell well. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to try something right now. I'm going to go and try this with, let's see if I can get, get this. Let's see if it'll work. Nope, not working. I'm gonna stop the sharing. I don't know how to do it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now let's try it. Now that I've got it set up the right way, let's see if I can do it. Nope, not gonna work. Okay, I was trying. I was trying to do a screen share and show my computer screen at the same time. I'll figure that out when I go through this app a little closer. So anyway, I was gonna check it, look up that Wedgwood piece, but I'll do that another time. I'll let you know on the channel exactly what I find out about that Wedgwood piece. 
I, if I remember correctly from the pictures, there's about 20 sellable items in here. There's a few that are going to be not really eBay worthy, uh, but there's about 20 that are. What do we have here? Baruther Wild Sassen of Bavaria, Germany. Let's see if it's there. We go. It is sort of focusing. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. That's the brand. An open dish like this. It's got a sticker on the side still. I'll have to look this up because the way this is finished with the gold rim around the top, I don't think there's supposed to be a lid. I believe this is an open top bowl. And those are lions. I would say those are lions on as the handles on the side with the gold finish on them. That's a that's a beautiful piece. And looks like it's old school from Germany. So I'll have to look that up. But that's again with my black fingers now and handling everything. So I'll be washing everything for sure before I picture it and list it. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 a cute piece. I saw that. I wasn't expecting anything special out of that white bowl that I saw on the table, but that's that's a beautiful piece from Bavaria, from Germany. So we'll have to try and date that by uh, the company and see what we can find out. I agree, Claire. I'm going to put this one on the screen for sure. The box just keeps on giving, and that's true. And I know what's on the bottom. I know what we haven't already looked at, and so it's going to really give some nice stuff towards the end, I'm sure, because it's all flat stuff that I know is coming. And I'll, I'll get to those soon. I think there's another another layer still plus. So let's see. Let's see if this is what I think it is. I have a feel of it. Nope, not what I thought it was. This is Bunnykins. Good old Bunnykins. But this is a heavy ceramic plate. I mean, that uh, bowl. That is uh, from Mr. Pigley's stores. Bunnykins made in England by Royal Dalton. And I love Royal Dalton. I'm having so much luck with my Royal Dalton uh, and Royal Albert teacups. And so this adding something else in Royal Dalton is beautiful. But that's beautiful. That's that's in great shape too. It's only got my black fingerprints all over it now. <laughs> and other than that, there's not a chip on this thing at all. It's in brand spanking, shiny, pristine condition. So that's going to be a good sale. I don't know what those are selling for, but um, that's 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 a nice piece. And I know the Bunnykins are still popular all over the world. So we'll uh, see what that ends up going for. All right, what do we got? Okay, here's a layer of paper. So that tells me we're getting down to the third and possibly final level. Yep, it is the third and final level. Boy, I saw this was going. This was going to be shipped. All this glass and all this ceramic was going to be shipped with just paper wrapped around it. I'm, I'm sort of glad I picked it up <laughs> because I'm not sure if it got banged around too much, it would have made it in mostly one piece. So I'm, I'm glad I got it. I picked it up. Let's we'll see. All right, it's a small one. Maybe only one layer of paper. Could there only be one layer of paper on this? There is. Oh, here's, again, I saw all these in pictures, so I'm not going completely blind, but I don't know the details and the names and the, the makers and that kind of thing. This is... That is a wall hanging. See on the back? It's got this, this sort of wall hanging. And it is from Royal Ducks D-U-X made in Czechoslovakia, and yeah, Bohemia, Royal Ducks Bohemia, Czechoslovakia, China, what's that, antelope, gazelle, something like that, coming out of the wall, so you put that on your wall like that, and it will be coming out, that's cute, very cute, I'll have to look it up and see if it's something special, because it's Bohemian Czechoslovakia, so that's... I just saw it was just that was just laying down on the table in the picture. You really didn't get a good look at it. So again, some all these fifteen dollar things add up. I only paid forty dollars for everything, and some of the stuff coming up is going to pay for it all in one fell swoop. So let's see what we got here. Again, I apologize for the crinkling of the paper. I only have so much room here. Okay, now this, I have this. this is interesting. This looks like a map of Hamburg, Germany. 
It is a trinket dish. Very, very shallow little trinket dish. Put your keys on it, on your credenza. But it's a map of Hamburg, Germany. And it is made in, ooh, yeah, that's German, Gesetzel Gescholz. I can't understand it. Eula, Eula Norft or something like that. And yeah, there's a sticker on the back as well. Um, put the owls on the sticker. But that is a little trinket dish with a map of Hamburg, Germany. I just, I don't know, I'll look it up. I'll have to look it up. That's that's a small little item. That'll be $10 unless it's something special after the research is done. All right, here we go. Like I said, the world's longest live feed only because of all the unwrapping. If I edit this later and take out all the unwrapping, this will be a 10 minute video. <laughs> it's the paper that's doing it to us here. All right, damn it. The other thing, I can't unwrap it too hastily because you never know what's inside. Here's the first of what I know is a number of these. There is a bunch of Wedgwood in this box. Beautiful Wedgwood Jasper Ware, white on blue. And there's a bunch of pieces coming up. This is the first, and it is an ashtray. As you can see the three little notches there for the cigarettes. Uh, so piece number one. Wedgwood Jasperware. This one is an ashtray. Now, the smaller pieces of Wedgwood these days, they're only selling in the $10 range, $10 to $15 range, depending on what it is. But um, uh, yeah, the smaller stuff, not huge prices. But Wedgwood Jasperware, if you go on eBay and search Wedgwood Jasperware, just that search term, there's about 800 listings right now on eBay for Wedgwood Jasperware. But if you go into the sold items, there's about 400 sold in the last 90 days. So that means that the sell-through rate on Wedgwood Jasperware is about 33%. That's pretty good. That means one out of every three items listed in the last 90 days has sold. So it still sells well. People love Wedgwood. I love Wedgwood. I love selling Wedgwood because I have success with it. So I'm going to reach into the box because I know there's more to come. And some of them are absolutely gorgeous pieces that I'm going to show you here in a minute. So um, I know there's a bunch of Wedgwood in here, and I know there's other things still to come as well. So let's keep going here. Uh, thank you, by the way, if you're tuning in to this live. Uh, there's a few a few eyes on this right now as we are going live with this. And then I also want to say hello to everybody watching this on replay. And I'm going to do something right now as I'm getting ready to do this. There we go. I'll put the little scroll around the bottom. This is interesting. This is attached. That is a bowl with a drip plate underneath it's attached funky mid-century modern 1970s style design on the sides both sides and it's german homas hemas i think i ought to look closer my eyes are not being blinded by the light right now but it's germany made in germany that's a funky piece that's pretty cool would you say gravy boat even though there's no tips at the end that's almost exactly what you need for a gravy boat right with the big bowl type thing with the spill plate underneath it so i think that's pretty cool that that's a cool piece i i saw that in the picture and i but yeah whatever but that's that's neat both sides so yeah i think that might be a gravy boat type setup so we'll see we'll see okay okay keep going Throwing the paper, what a mess. Oh my God. How about, how'd that paper all come out of this box, even with stuff wrapped in it? All right, here's something else. Another Wedgwood. There's two of these, so I'll get to the other one in a second. Small, short candlestick. Now, this is interesting because this one has the design very, very up close to the stem. Most Wedgwood has the design right around the edge. This is the only one I saw when I looked up Wedgwood candles recently that has the design closer into the stem. So it's a little different, a little different look on the designs as well. And um, yeah, that's, oh, that's right. Claire. That white thing is probably a planter. There you go. Uh, but yeah, that wedge, was, that's good, uh, good shape and um, pretty good condition. A little dirt up top here, but no, that's in great shape. That's a great, great piece. And there's two of them. So I'll find the other one here quickly, hopefully. And uh, a pair of those, a pair of the short Wedgwood 
candlestick holders will go in the $20 range, $20 to $25 range usually. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, this one. This is nice too. This is a... I'll get both pieces before I put them together here for you. Oh. <laughs> a beautiful trinket dish. Covered trinket bowl with a removable lid square that is a beautiful beautiful piece great condition i'm trying not to touch these as much because i have all this black newsprint on my hands now but i did notice i did look things up a little bit when i was looking at the ebay listing to see if it was worth getting but this exact ashtray with this exact trinket dish just sold for 30 dollars us about two weeks ago on ebay as a pair and so if i can sell the two of them together for uh $30, that pays for the entire box because that's how much this box cost me, $30 US. So I, 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 I'm i looking forward to getting this stuff researched and listed. Uh, some of the things I don't have to research, you just have to figure out what price to put on them, especially the Ledgewood, that kind of thing. <laughs> Can you tell I'm thrilled by all this newsprint? Okay, here's the other candlestick over. I can tell. So quickly unwrap that. There we go. One and two. And a pair of Wedgwood Jasperware candlestick holders. Very nice condition. Really nice condition. And stamped on the back. And they are probably a 25-ish dollar item. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's why. You know what? I wondered. I wondered. The picture. The pictures on the eBay listing showed one Wedgwood stamp, okay? So this is got the Wedgwood stamp on it, Wedgwood made in England. This is not Wedgwood. This is called, it's Canada Art Pottery, and I want to say it's, it's, it's E something, E, might be even E Canada Pottery. So that is not actually Wedgwood. It is a Canadian company that made in the style of Wedgwood. This one is Wedgwood. So I'll have to be very careful when I'm listing these because some are Wedgwood and some are not. I think it's E Canada. Small E Canada is the lookalike style to Wedgwood. So, but that's okay. It, it actually sells well too um, because it looks like Wedgwood. And so people still like it. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure we get the right name on them as we list them and still make money on them because they're still very nice pieces and people do people get the e-canada stuff and pass it off as wedgewood even though they know it themselves that it's e-canada stuff all right so here is a small vase cute vase with a tree scene and i'm sure that's a goddess of some kind i'll have to look that up and that is Wedgwood. I think that's Wedgwood. Let's see if the camera can look at better than my eyes can right now. Yep, that's Wedgwood, it's upside down. Wedgwood, so that's a good Wedgwood piece too. Uh, and there's there's a few more of those coming too. So a good, good. I think it's gonna be mostly Wedgwood, maybe just the candlesticks. Maybe that's why the candlesticks look different than all the other pieces as far as the designs being located in different areas, because it's not Wedgwood. It's the Canada stuff. So well, I think I know what this is. I'm working up a sweat from all this unwrap. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh boy. All right. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, there's two two pieces to this. I'm gonna show it to you, and I'm not even sure this is gonna get sold. I made try and list it just to see what it is but it is this is a trivet flat porcelain this is a drink coaster but what these are these are commemorative pieces from um masons the order of the eastern star this is the names of the two leaders the male and the female leaders in the province of ontario canada from 1984 to 85 so that's a commemorative trivet from the Order of the Eastern Star. And this is uh, a drink coaster, again, by Sheila and Howard, probably the same positions as these people had 
and a different year with the order of the Eastern Star. So 1975, it looks like. So they're older. Um, but you know what? The Masonic type stuff, there's people that collect that. I mean, I sold that uh, big, huge Stein for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers commemorative Stein uh, for $100 <laughs> last month. So you never know. I'll take a look and see if I can find things um, from the uh, Order of the Eastern Star and see if anybody's interested in it. It is pretty specific regionally as far as Ontario goes. But, oh, the banner, sorry. Yes, I'll turn the banner off. Hide there. See, that works. All these things to do on you know, a live feed, not just un unwrap. It's taking all my effort to unwrap for. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to other stuff too. Okay, what do we got here? There, I saw this. I've I've seen these before. Chokin, C H O K I N, or Chokin, uh, art glass, art pottery, art collection. Original Chokin art collection, twenty-four karat gold rim. It is a little coaster trinket dish with a Florida gator on it. And it does have a whole bunch of writing on the back, hmm, giving it a little bit of a certificate of authenticity and what the art of chalking is all about. Um, but I think I've seen these online before. This is, this is a 10 to $15 item maybe, but with the 24 karat gold rim and in great shape that it's in and vintage. That's uh, pretty cute. Very cute little piece. All right, what do we got? This is another piece of the Wedgwood. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, this is. Okay, there we go. Another blue Jasper Ware, and this one is Wedgwood. Good. I like seeing Wedgwood on the bottom. Let's see if it focuses here. You can see that. That says Wedgwood. There it is. So, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice one, too. Short little one with the trumpet's top. And some great, great designs on them too. I love the, I love the, the white scenes that they put on them. So a young boy with his dog, and a young girl with the same dog, and a heart playing angel. So that, that's pretty cool. Those are cool. So again, the small vases for Wedgwood probably fifteen to twenty, fifteen dollars ish. I may put a couple of them together, combine two of them maybe for thirty bucks, and uh, that would. Uh, Give me a little bit bigger return. So yeah, that's it's pretty cool. This is oh, this is the first of these. Okay. These are beautiful. Limoges, France. Fragonard is the artist from a long, 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 long time ago. But there's a bunch of these plates that uh Limoges made that are uh, depicting scenes from this Fragonard. I think it's 28 different scenes that he created for this courting and love story that he made. And I'll show you the back. There we go. Limoges, France. Yeah. Uh, these, even the small ones, these small ones sell for 15 to $20, um, especially if they're in great shape and the right colors. This looks like a pinkish, reddish type of a color, almost purpley. Um, that I haven't seen that color on the listings very much, so that might be worth $20. Um, so yeah, that's great. That's um, There's more of those to come right now too. I can see the bottom. I can see the bottom. I know, riveting, riveting, riveting YouTube. We just watched Brian unwrap things for the last 40 minutes. <laughs> But it's the stuff inside the wrapping that's the interesting stuff. Really, it is. Wow. I thought this was bigger. See, the pictures were a little misleading. I thought they were. this was a lot bigger. I thought it was a big one. It's a trinket dish. Put your keys in it, your change. It is 1964, the calendar. And I'm guessing it's Canadian by the looks of the maple leaf and the birds and the snowflakes. Four Seasons, that's what's represented there in the middle, the Four Seasons of 1964 with this calendar trinket dish. And there is, well, there is a in relief on the back and I cannot read it. I'll have to tell you about that in another video. Maybe you can see it on the camera. 
in the very middle there. There it is right there. Vanit? Is that a V-A-N-N something L-T or I don't know. I'll look it up, but I'm sure it's somewhere. So that's that's cute. I thought that was a big one. I thought that was the big by the pictures. So they can be misleading. So I'm glad that, uh, but that's cute. That's that's even that probably $10, 10 to $15, people collecting those kind of things. It'd be great for somebody who was born in 1964 as a little gift. So yeah, I thought that was cute. It's cute. All right, what do we got here? This is the last of the Wedgwood. It is one of the last of the Wedgwood pieces. Another small mini vase. Beautiful, beautifully done. A couple of handles there. And it is, yeah, it's, it's Wedgwood. So just the candlestick holders are the E Canada stuff. This is an actual Wedgwood piece as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's great. So three vases, the ashtray and the covered trinket dish all from Wedgwood. And then the two candlestick holders from E Canada. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm still happy with that. I'm not complaining that it was E Canada and that I didn't know about it because it did show the Wedgwood uh, marking on one of them pieces. So that's fine. That's great. I, I still, I'm very, very happy with that because those are, if I put two, I might even put all three of the mini vases together for about $40. It's probably about what they'll go for combined $40 or so US. Um, that's a pretty good return on those. So yeah. All right, so here is a couple more of these Limoges plates. So I've got, this would be interesting. Leave a comment right now if you can beside, what do you think I should do? Or leave a comment below if you're watching a repeat of this. I have got now three of the Limoges mini plates. Each have different, the mini ones have different scenes uh, that way. So there's that, and there's that, and there's that. So there's three different scenes, three different colors. Are these both green? Nope, this is more of a teal blue and this is a green. Should I lot these together and get a really good price for them? Probably about $50 to $60 for the three little pieces together. Or should I list them individually? I think they're going for about $15 to $20 on their own. So what do you think? Should I split them up? Or should I list them all together? I like to do lots together, especially of smaller things, because that would give somebody a nice little start on a collection. Hi, Harry. How are you? Good to see you. Um, I, I, I tried to give advanced warning of this one. I know you missed the last one. but um, So I don't know. I, I, but at the same time, somebody might be only missing this one for their collection. So they might want only the one. So. I don't know. I think I'm going to go one at a time. Change my mind. Change my mind in the comments down below if you're watching the replay or right there on the side if you're watching this live. Uh, I'm going to go with individually listing of the Limoges Fragonard plates. So I think that's that's probably the best plan. Okay. Getting down to it. Only a couple things left to go. And I think I know what they are. If I remember the picture properly, sorry about I keep forgetting to unwrap away from the microphone. Oh, do I have a mess to clean up after this is over. Little black. <laughs> a little bit of ink. But that's all right. At least they were protected. They weren't just laying on top of each other. But I really, that would have been scary to see these get shipped. Uh, just newsprint wrapped around them. Now, this one is interesting. Here's a vintage trinket dish for you. Ringling, Brother, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus World. The date on the bottom is 1973. And it is in great shape. Not a little bit of scratching at all on the paint job, on the transfer at all. Um, it's in, there's no cracks, no, no chipped corners or anything like that. So, yeah, you would put them all together, Claire? I don't know. I've always, I always thought that if you had... Things like that, where somebody may need only one to finish their collection, you should do it individually. Um, so, anyhow, you know, so as Claire says, Claire would put all the smalls together. I, I don't know. I think I would. I, I'll I'll look into it if I can get more money individually. I may do individually. I, I, and if I recall, there's a good sell through rate on the Limoges plates as well. So you know, you, one out of every three or four sells in 90 days. So we'll see but isn't this i love this piece too i saw that in the pictures 
Um, that's about as big as I thought it was. Uh, nice little trinket dish, but definitely a collector's item. 1973 from the Barnum and Bailey Circus. I uh, again won't hazard to guess at all as far as the value on that goes, but most things this kind of size regularly will go for $15 to $20. If it's really, really special, maybe a little bit more. Exactly. The tray. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what uh we'll see what I can find out in the research as far as if that's worth more than just the usual $15 to $20. Collector, as you say, Claire, a collector will probably love those. All right, last item. <laughs> My paper pile says thank you very much. Last item in the box. I don't know what they are. There should be two of them in here. Yes, there is. Again, away from the microphone. Sorry about that. It's 10 to 9 already. Yep, the world's longest live stream because of all the unwrapping. Crazy. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Should have thought of that. I maybe should have made a video instead of a live feed. Then it wouldn't have taken so long. But whatever. I like saying hi to everybody live. Hi, Claire. Hi, Harry. Hi, everybody else that's watching and dropped in and said goodbye already. Anyhow, I have two larger Limoges Fragonard plates. Now, they are the same scene. So these will definitely be sold individually because they are the same scene, just two different colors on the outside. Again, though, maybe somebody's collecting all of this scene and they need both of them to complete their set. Or maybe they just need one to complete the set color-wise. So I, again, I will research. I will find out if it is uh, better to sell them individually price-wise or if you're going to get a bigger bang for your buck by selling them as a set. But with the two of them being the same scene from the Fragonard art collection, I'm, I'm thinking these are going to go individually because somebody may need the teal blue one. Somebody might need the dark blue one. I think, I agree, Claire. I think these ones are going to be individual. And as you know, I know how to say it. It is Limoges. France. So that's nice. Five pieces of Limoges. One, two, three, four. Four pieces of Wedgwood. One piece of E Canada. Some of these other small things, some of the surprises after we looked. Oh, wait, speaking of Wedgwood, anybody joined late? I, I like this. This is going to be interesting to research because of um, it is Wedgwood as well. And it is a commemorative dish put out at a certain year for a certain event apparently so i will definitely check that out um yeah very cool no harry there were not cups that went with though i don't think not specifically the rim around the outside of the plate those plates were made specifically as collector's plates and hanging plates and display plates there are other sets not by limoges that are teacups and saucers with the Fragonard um, paintings on them. I've sold one. I think it was a Bavarian German type, a, a German maker of teacup and saucer. So the Fragonard courting scenes are very well loved in France and Germany. So they use them quite a bit in some of their ceramics. But yeah, I think that is just decorative, decorative collector's plates. Yes, Claire, I have to agree with you on this one. I got a very good deal on this box. As I said, it costs me $39.99 Canadian, which is about $30 US right now. And just the Wedgwood stuff alone, $30, $60, $75 just on the Wedgwood. The Limoges plates, another $75 at least. So I'm very, very happy uh, with this. This was on eBay. And you know, you have to do what you have to do when you're running out of things to sell and you've got no live auctions to go to and the online auctions are setting their finish date for 28 days away or there really isn't much to buy in some of them. Uh, so you do what you have to do. And that was one of the first eBay lots that I even looked at. And I got really lucky. He was in Toronto. We were able to arrange personal pickups, so I saved another $25 on the shipping. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm very happy. Some of the surprises um, that were included, this, this is going to be, I think this is, this is going to be worth a little more than I'm playing it out to be, I think. That is absolutely gorgeous. Mid-century modern written all over it with the colors and the lines and, and the way the stopper is made. I think that's going to be a very nice piece. Some of these other pieces that are 
name stuff like this, I think this might surprise us too. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But yeah, there's some great stuff. The Apollo glass. And I'll, uh, I will definitely let everybody know when I sell them um, on the usual, on the channel, on a regular video, what sold channel, what sold video. I think the, the, the ink is getting to my brain. I'm not being able to think very clearly right now. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, Harry, Claire, and everybody else that dropped by or is here to say goodbye, I, I thank you for dropping by. I'm sorry there was so much unwrapping and not a lot of talking and only so many items. Oh, that's what I was going to do quickly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30 items. 30 items for $30 US. So my average cost per item in this box was $1. And that's right around my average when it comes to auctions and that kind of thing. So I'm happy, very happy, $1 per item. And, and you know what? Looking through it now, I thought there were going to be some duds. I think everything is going to be sellable. I think every single thing in this box is going to be eBay sellable. So we'll see what it ends up at. And, uh, you know, I'll try and keep track of exactly um, what things are selling for and how much I end up getting just from the things from this box. So I think that's cool. I think this one, too, is going to be interesting. This may be a good find, too. If you missed this one, Harry, or whoever else may be watching, if you're watching in the repeat and seeing the end of it, this is a Pyrex scientific beaker. And I've never seen one before, but it's in great shape and very, very interesting. So that may be a that may be a sleeper in the entire box. We shall see. Anyhow, I'm gonna call it off. I'm exhausted too. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Yeah, I was working really, really hard for this one. And I'm gonna have to go wash my hands before I do anything else. Before I put this stuff away again, I have to go wash my hands and get all the newsprint off of them. I gotta put the newsprint away in the box first before I wash them. So I don't have to do it twice. But um, anyhow, thanks for dropping by everybody. Uh, I will keep you updated on how these things go and as they get listed. And I will see you very soon with a taped episode on the regular channel. See you soon, everybody. Stay well, stay safe. Cheers. Bye for now.